Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Alan Stevens from Coral Mining. How are you today, Alan? Very well, thank you, Tracy. Okay, Alan, let's get right to it. You just put out your maiden resource estimate for the Maramaca project. Did I pronounce that properly? You did. And of course, this is in Chile. Tell us more about this. Maramaca is a new discovery that uh, Coral made in, earlier this year. Uh, we've drilled uh, only about 50 holes and we've in started with our resource estimate straight away and uh, we expect to get it into production as quickly as possible. So I understand the Miramaka project of is, of course, close to your processing plant. Can you tell us more about this? The processing plant is called Ivan. Um, the processing plant will produce cathode copper, which means that the final product we will produce is copper metal, as opposed to concentrate, which is the other way of producing copper. So you have a very aggressive timeline, uh, timeline then towards production, is that correct? It is correct. We drilled our first holes in this deposit in March of last year and we hope to be producing copper by sometime in 2018, 2019, which is an extremely fast. So, Alan, for those of us that may be new to coral mining, can you give us a bit of an overview about the company? Certainly. Coral was set up in 2005. Uh, the objective was to become a mining company and to be producing copper as quickly as possible. Uh, it's taken us a bit longer than we expected, but we are now a producing copper company and we're looking to grow that production over the next two or three years. Well, in addition to your aggressive timeline, you actually had a very interesting comment in your about paragraph. You said you're looking for coro-type deposits. Can you tell us what that means? Coro-type deposits are really any deposit that we can identify at whatever stage of development in Chile that we can see a timeline to production as quickly as possible. Okay, so in addition to the most recent news on Miramaca, maybe you can give us a little bit more of an overview on this project. Maribaca is a new discovery in a very uh, well-located part of Chile. Uh, we're fast-tracking it to production. It'll be a very nice project for a company of our size, and it'll produce good copper at a very low price. And of course, in your operations update, which I absolutely loved, it's very thorough. I like how Coro handles news release updates for shareholders. You also uh, mentioned a company or a, a project called Berta. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Berta is an existing operating mine that we put into production uh, last year. Uh, it's a project we discovered back in 2011, and we're currently expanding the output to approximately 5,000 tons of copper per year, and we expect that to reach that level of production in the middle of 2017. So, Alan, copper, we have an aggressive timeline. We have a processing facility. Can you tell us what else we as shareholders might be looking forward to in 2017? I think Coro is a, a copper growth story. We like to characterize us, ourselves as being a growth company that happens to be producing copper. Uh, our business is discovering copper deposits and taking them all the way through to production ourselves. Uh, most companies either are exploration companies or their mining companies. And we're going to be a company that finds our own deposits and puts them into production. So, Alan, thank you so much for updating us on Coral Mining. Thank you, Tracy, for the opportunity.